In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your portraits more dramatic using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Joel here. And as you can see, this is the final output. Let's look at the layer panel. So these are the layers. Let's look at the original one. So this is the original photo that I used. Uh, first of all, I did some camera raw adjustment. Then I did some painting with my brush. Uh, this is the most difficult part. After that, I did some curves adjustment to make her eyes pop a little bit, as you can see. Then some hue saturation to change the colors. And after that, I did some selective colors because shadows became a little too dark. So I had to fix it. And then to have more control over lighting, I did some dodge and burn. So as you can see, this is also a little bit complicated, but I'll explain. And then I did some sharpening to bring out details in skin texture and hair, as you can see. So it's super easy. As you can see, there aren't even too many layers. Uh, let's open the photo. I'm gonna go to file, open, select the photo, open it. Okay, before we start, here's the thing. You need at least Photoshop CC. Even the old, old version is fine. But you need at least Photoshop CC to follow this tutorial. If you don't have that, uh, check out the video description. I have some instruction for you what to do if you don't have Photoshop CC. Okay, then double click on your background, unlock it. And then right click here and select convert to smart object. So whatever filter we apply, we can change it even after saving the file. Uh, then I'm going to go to filter and then select camera raw filter. Uh, this will work most of the time, except when you have same colors in background and in skin tone, then you will have some difficulties. Other than that, it will work without any problem. So first of all, I'm going to decrease the exposure a little bit somewhere around like two, three points. So I think some somewhere around here is completely fine and also my computer is not that powerful so you might see some glitches, ignore them. I'm also gonna decrease some contrast because image is really black heavy and I don't want that blotchiness. Somewhere around here is also good. Now I'm gonna increase my highlights. So make it somewhere around like 20-30%. So as you can see now the face is glowing a bit more. Also, I'm gonna pick up the shadows a little bit. Uh, it's mainly to avoid that really inky blacks and like it just looks bad if I don't fix the shadows. Also, I'm gonna increase the whites somewhere around like 40-50%. So as you can see, it's already creating that uh, difference between background and face. Uh, meanwhile, everything is still properly visible. And now I'm gonna decrease the blacks a little bit. Uh, maybe somewhere around like 30 40 percent uh, i also increased some clarity so i i can have some uh, texture in the face somewhere around here is good i'm also gonna decrease some vibrance uh, because uh, after playing too much in exposure and contrast we have some orangish tone in the image and i don't want that so keep your vibrance down somewhere around 14-15% is good so okay now I'm gonna go and simply hit ok and because we have smart objects in case you wanna change something you can double click on the camera or filter and change it anytime so this is the original one and this is after the adjustment this uh, sort of provides a canvas so that we can directly paint on the image now using a black brush uh, and give it that you know darkish look so I'm gonna select my brush tool and in the brush uh, I'm gonna make sure that I have black color and my opacity is somewhere around like 20-30% you'll have to like trial and error situation here so create new blank layer don't forget to do this one uh, then make your brush bigger for this use your bracket case it's much more convenient so uh, this big should be enough also don't use smaller brush yeah it sounds weird but don't do it Bigger brush will allow you a lot smoother transition. Just for like this image, make sure your brush is slightly bigger than the model's face. So that's cool. Now go and start painting. As you can see, even this is not big enough. So I'm gonna go and make it even more. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna go and paint like this on both sides. Then do it again like this. So as you can see, because of like brush being little too big, 
uh, we have a lot smoother transition and when you get smaller uh, sorry <laughs> closer to the face uh, make the brush a bit smaller but not too small it actually kind of makes your job easier as well because uh, having bigger brush you can cover like area quickly and it doesn't take too much time and as always because we are doing it on a separate layer you can decrease the opacity you can erase something in case you screw up so that's always good thing to have another thing this can also take some time like and practice in tutorial i'm being a little bit rough because i don't have too much time but in practice like in your project take your time okay so this looks kind of good now another thing i don't want any effect on the face so i'm just gonna simply get my brush to sorry eraser tool right click eraser and then erase it from the face oops the erases, eraser is on full hardness okay so right click and make sure hardness is zero percent here as well then i'm gonna go and remove it from the face like this so because of this as you can see the face is in complete focus but since we also used really big soft brush it doesn't look really choppy or blotchy you know uh, looks smooth that's that should be your target everything must look smooth okay so this is done uh, and the smart filters are done your most complicated process is sort of done except dodge and burn we'll do that later right now now focus let's focus on the eyes for that i'm going to create new adjustment layer and select curves and in the curves since i want like the eyes to be brighter and only focus on the eyes okay so at the moment i'm just going to make everything a bit brighter then close it now select your uh, mask here and press ctrl i so everything is hidden then make sure you select your brush tool and this time make sure the opacity is 100 percent then zoom in uh, you can use ctrl plus for that and then paint here with white color so change your color to white and then paint on the pupils not on the entire eye will make i'll show you how to make the rest of the eyes bright right now only focus on the pupil so this and if you paint outside just simply change back to black color and then fix it like that so as you can see this adjustment will fix it like will make it better so right now it looks like this but i want it even sharper so i'm gonna go and take it somewhere around here but on the other hand i'm also gonna make it a bit darker from here as well so before and after it's not a huge difference it will look better let me show you do you see the smart filters here uh, here's the step i forgot that's why this doesn't look good i also make mistakes so the smart filters they have a mask and on this mask if i paint with black color it will remove the effect from the photo whatever camera filters camera raw filter we applied so if in the eyes i paint with black color as you can see the effect goes away and it provides a lot more attention to eyes now in case you were wondering like it doesn't look that realistic well we are trying to make it dramatic so don't focus too much on realism i wanted that sharp focus on the eyes and this gave me that and in case you screw up something you can always change back the color and fix it if you paint outside a little bit so this looks good and now as you can see um, the difference curves makes as you can see see now it's huge uh, so uh, i'm gonna go and make it actually a bit more dark because i don't want it overly bright that looks washed out so as you can see now the eyes look a lot better also i think like because of this black and white background and this uh, lipstick color the green eyes looked a lot better so create new adjustment layer and select hue saturation then change the hue to anything i don't care what you do just change the hue to anything and increase your saturation like 20 30 percent okay uh, then close it after that select the mask and press ctrl i the same thing we did in the curves then uh, make sure you have curves sorry <laughs> brush tool and white color and paint on the pupils like this and also a little bit here as well right now it looks kind of yellow but that doesn't matter just make sure it looks different oops let's you can use your x key to switch between the colors 
uh, it saves a lot of time this is good after that I'm gonna go back uh, to my hue saturation and here I'm gonna actually make the hue to somewhere around 100 uh, and my saturation to somewhere around like uh, 40% that looks good and lightness is zero I'm not gonna change that look at the eyes this is without any adjustments and this is with the adjustment adds more drama now that's done and we need to fix the shadows like I want it to have a little bit faded look and also no matter how hard we tried there is some inky blacks here in the this portion of the image and I don't want that I'm gonna create new adjustment layer and select selective colors and here make sure you are in your blacks and then in the blacks simply decrease your blacks but not too much like two three points is more than enough if you do too much it doesn't look good so somewhere in like two three points is enough let's try four uh, let's go my minus four looks good close it and this is the after before cool uh, now let's do the dodge and burn it looks crazy but it's not that complicated especially because we will be doing the most basic thing you can do with dodge and burn create new blank layer then press shift backspace and here in the contents make sure you select 50% gray then hit ok after that go and change the blending mode to soft light and hooray nothing happened because <laughs> we cannot see pure gray color on like soft light uh, then select your brush tool and in the colors uh, you will need black and white both of them so simply press T key to make sure you have black and white then I'm gonna change to white first and in the opacity like 8 or 9 percent is enough don't go more than that you'll ruin your image without even realizing it so this looks good after that here's what you are going to do you look at the really dark patches on the face that we created because of the adjustment and sometimes they are in the original photo so to fix that as you can see this portion is a bit darker here I'm gonna paint with my white color to fix it now this also takes a lot of practice uh, I am not that experienced with it but I have some basic idea like grip over the tool so if I turn it on and off as you can see it looks natural but at the same time the dark patch is less darker uh, so I'm gonna go and do it like that so first you, know, you have two rounds like this this is for beginners you go and fix all the dark patches and also you can also like make bright portions even brighter then we focus on the black color so right now I'm gonna do this and don't forget that you can also do the same effect on lips and eyes as well so I'm gonna make this portion a bit brighter so lips are more noticeable So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, some features they look a bit better and the color is more, you know, balanced. So white color is done. Now I'm going to show you the black color. Here you do the opposite. If you see something overly bright, you go and make it a bit darker. Or if you want to enhance something, you make it even darker. So in the forehead, I think here the patch is a little too bright. So I'm going to control it that slightly. Okay, uh, that's too much. So yeah, that's enough and in the eyes I think I want this portion to be a bit more darker so I'm gonna do it once or twice and here now as you can see the dodge and burn adds a lot more drama this is the normal one this is the dodge and burn one also features look a bit more defined um, also the more time you spend the better it will look the, the beauty is in the details okay this is done now I'm gonna apply some sharpening so we can bring out some texture in skin and hair for that go and create new blank layer from here and then press ctrl alt shift and E after that we need to remove all the colors and for that you can press ctrl shift and U it will make it black and white or you can go to image adjustment and then where is it desaturate here um, this is done after that go to filter other and then select high pass 
Now this number depends on resolution of your photo. Uh, so if you are not sure, try to keep it under two pixels. This is a good quality photo. So 2.5 will be okay. I'm gonna hit okay. Then change the blend mode of this layer to hard light. Now if I zoom in, and if I turn it on and off, there is a lot of texture. But the problem is it's little too much. So I'm gonna decrease the opacity to somewhere around like 70% or maybe 60-65. Whatever looks good. So there is a lot more detail in the hair. And just like skin, actually you can paint on the hair as well to bring out details from those texture. Now one thing I notice is that I th uh, the dark portions, like we didn't paint enough. So I'm gonna paint one more round. Uh, also the best part about this effect is that it looks just as good in black and white. So I'm gonna go here and create new adjustment layer and select black and white. Make sure it's on top of everything and as you can see it also looks really elegant. Uh, this is black and white and this is color. Both of look awesome. Uh, let's look at the after before. I'm just gonna make copy and okay. So this is the original photo and this is what we created and also black and white. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in comment section below. Till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.